The evolution of Fortnite. Did you know the Fortnite logo used to look like this? Well, today we're going to be going back and having a look at some unreleased videos all the way from the beginning of 2011 when the game first started development, working our way all the way up to the present day as we're jumping into 2020 and goodness knows what Fortnite is going to give us next. We're going to be going down memory lane. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how Fortnite all began. If you're watching this, if you ever played a game of Fortnite in your life, you have to hit that thumbs up button. Go on, if you ever played Fortnite, Fortnite, hit that like, hit it right now, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribing for more videos right here as we're jumping straight into it. So to give you a little bit of a backstory, the developers, Epic Games, finished off Gears of War 3 in around about 2011, and with the release of that game, they took a step back, thought up some new ideas, and that began the idea of Fortnite merging a building game with a shooting game. Gears of War also being a third person game and obviously Fortnite being a third person game, they had a lot of experience in that area. You can see some of the early developments that Epic Games were working on in terms of different game ideas and look how crazy this is. Bearing in mind this is back in 2011, Look at this plane. That almost exact 3D model plane ended up being in Fortnite in season seven. Who would have thought that all the way back in the day? And now we get to hear from one of the head producers at Fortnite as to what inspired them to make Fortnite and start it all off back in 2011. It's a game that spawned directly from passion. This is just something that people wanted to build. We were just coming off the gears and we wanted to do something totally fresh with the, this one idea that we wanted to basically do like uh, a building game. So we looked at a bunch Building. of games for inspiration. Shooting. We love Terraria. We love Minecraft. We thought these were really awesome games. We also had, interestingly enough, we had farming for a little while. Farming was going to be in Fortnite. We thought we could, let's do whatever. Let's Can see you imagine what right. farming in I think Fortnite. a lot of other people have done versions of this, but like they've done just one aspect. Like they've done building really awesome. Have they done the shooting really awesome? But this is sort of the peanut butter and chocolate. Cool and I think we're finally putting those two together to Shout make out a really awesome cup. I feel like this game is sort of in the zeitgeist. You know, other developers that we've shown this game to have come and said, you know, we were going to make that game, and then we heard you were doing it, so we stopped. Other developers like, were going to make a similar version of Fortnite. For the last 10 years, and I couldn't convince That's crazy. You know, our studio to build that game. I just think it was in the water. I wonder what Fortnite would have looked like if somebody had taken a building and shooting idea but made by completely different people. What would it have turned out to be? Now, what we're about to look at is the very first official Fortnite teaser that was released back at the end of 2011 where Epic Games has started working on this project for just a little bit. And oh boy, is it very different to what we're playing now. Epic Games, bit of TNT. Burgers in the back. Der Burger's still there. Der Burger survived from 2011 to now. Hey, we got some good stuff, man. The characters look so different. Oh, look, it's a door. He's edited a door. Oh, he's building up his own door. What's that coming out of the ground? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. This is so different to what it is now. Back in the base they go. And it's night time. Here come the zombies, that's for sure. Look how different the characters look. Oh, this is intense. Are they going to make it? That's quite similar to the zombies we know now. And look at this. What is that logo? How different was Fortnite when they first started working on it? That is crazy. Now, from the end of 2011 to 2014, it was kind of radio silence. They started working on Fortnite in the background, refining it, tuning it. But even then, after two or three years of development with this next trailer, it still looks so different to what it is now. The logo's improved, at least. We recognize that logo, but look at this. Jump pads did end up making it in the game, but look at the characters. That's actually a building that used to be in uh, factories or was in factories. So that did make it the chest opening animation so different. All of the loot being collected so different as well. Was there, were there any hot spots as he hit those trees? If there was, it certainly isn't the hot spots that we're used to seeing now. The animations, the characters, all similar, but not quite as refined as we're used to seeing. But the buildings, oh wow, look at the way he's going across that. That is definitely different. The half builds, similar, but not quite the same. And there's a core to build, another core to build. Very ineffective way to build yourself up to that top of the building. And look at this, a teleporter. Now bearing in mind, Fortnite back then was only save the world. 
It wasn't Battle Royale. Battle Royale didn't come for a long, long time. As you can see here, though, the editing, choosing one of the squares to choose what the edit looks like, was all there, like, years and years ago. Fortnite knew what they wanted to do with the basic building mechanics, and I remember when I first saw Fortnite and saw they were trying to merge building with shooting, I was like, Ah, oh, here you go, another game developer trying to put Minecraft and COD together. Genuinely didn't know if they'd be able to pull it off. Traps, electric traps, those did make it into the beginning of Fortnite Battle Royale, but obviously no longer around. In fact, that one exactly is. But the building aspect is still so cool and already looking really, really good, even in these early days. Now, as I said, remember, the moment this is all building bases, defending your area, taking on zombies, more story driven and is, I don't know if you guys have played Save the World, basically only that part of the game at the moment. But you can start to see the building. There you go, the weapons, the AR that we know, sounding a little different but looking almost exactly the same. Katanas have not quite made it as a useful weapon in Battle Royale, but are available in Save the World. So even then, already functioning. I mean, we've had lightsabers in Battle Royale, you never know. We may get Katanas as well, but it looks... Still really impressive and really good to think that from this point, 2014, to release in late 2017, three years different, and it's still looking very similar to what we're used to now. Now, as we see them take on more monsters and crazy traps being placed everywhere, which looks absolutely insane, with even gas traps as well. Maybe that was inspiration for the stink bomb all the way back then. Who knows? We actually get a look at the fact that Although this game is, or this trailer is years and years old, you can even see the grenade on his little belt as well, which looks exactly the same as the grenade in the game now. You actually get and finish this trailer with an invite to join the Fortnite Alpha. For those of you guys that don't know, you get an Alpha build, which sometimes they release for people to play beta, which is a more refined version, almost complete, and then the full game comes out. So you could have been invited to the Alpha all the way back in 2014 and been playing Fortnite before it went huge. Crazy. Moving forward to 2000. 2017, after people have tested the alpha, the game have been refined a little bit. We got our very first look at Save the World, the official release trailer. And the biggest thing you can see from this is the refined animations, everything looking really crispy, clean, and a more focus on cartoony effects with cartoony characters with rounder faces, cleaner looking characters overall right, compared cool. to the Thanks. more humanized looking versions that we saw in that previous trailer. And also the refining of the zombie zombies themselves looking not quite as scary but more colorful bright basically them developing and realizing that a focus towards more being sort of kid friendly and fun and light-hearted is the way they want to take this game now since epic games also developed the unreal engine which is what fortnite's made in they could develop and make these amazing animations and story cinematics like the one we're seeing now and the ones that we've seen for seasons and seasons of Battle Royales showing new items and funny little stories basically meant that they could put these amazing trailers together to get everybody hyped up for the game. But despite the fact this trailer looks really cool and we recognize that it's Fortnite, it's still a trailer for the Save the World zombie portion of the game. Nothing has been released to the public about a Battle Royale version yet. And as the trailer finishes up here, you can see that there's nothing about Battle Royale in here. Fortnite on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. You can play a little bit earlier in July, but no Battle Royale. In fact, this trailer has only gathered 2 million views. And considering it is literally the launch trailer for Fortnite as a game, that's not very high. However, the Battle Royale trailer, 55 million views that came out just a few months later. And whilst you had to pay for Fortnite Save the World, Battle Royale was just thrown out there as a free thing for everybody to download and play almost just to see what people think of it. Little did they know it'd blow up as much as it would, obviously. And Claire and I wrote in our calendar to play the Battle Royale or Fortnite when it came out, but we actually missed it and forgot. And then it just started to blow up. I jumped on it, you probably jumped on it, but let's take a look at the very first trailer. I remember watching this on YouTube and it was a pre-roll advert before YouTube videos for so long and just thinking is this gonna be a good game will it work but it was colorful it was bright it was simple but the skill level was there he just picked up a shotgun and there was no shotgun ammo next to it you wouldn't get that in fortnite anymore jump pads those aren't in the game anymore obviously pistols 
But you'll recognize all of these locations. Electric traps, those aren't in the game anymore. Grenade launchers, they technically aren't in the game anymore either. E neither is a semi-auto sniper, but the editing, the building, just the clean look of this game drew people in. And this trailer was probably watched by almost everybody in this video. Who here watched this trailer on YouTube or remember it back in the day and thought, you know what? Maybe I'll try out Fortnite. And obviously no one ever made a base this insane in the middle of a battle royale lobby. But it just gave you an idea of what was possible and how crazy a merge of building and fighting could be. Battle Royale, free, PC, PlayStation, Xbox, even Mac. I remember my first few Fortnite videos were actually me telling people to go and download the game. I literally have to tell people that it was free to play, encourage them to play it, because Fortnite wanted as many people to jump on it as possible. I've just found another video. This was released a little bit afterwards. So in November, so September, about a month or so, it hit 20 million players. Obviously the game was blowing up and they would put out these little trailers and these little like thank you videos thanking the community and Epic Games have always worked so well with the community and helping support them and shouting them out and obviously support the creator codes now a thing in the game and they do all of these cool things and it made us feel like the community was actually you know being thanked and actually being recognized properly by the developers crazy they managed to hit about 30 million plays in December 2017 and then 45 during the summer of 2018, 125, that was just the biggest point of Fortnite ever. I think like season four, season three, 200. And the last count was around 250 million Fortnite accounts. That is mind blowing. Obviously now we are well into Fortnite chapter two. Still an extended period of season one of chapter two. And come February next year, 2020, we'll be rolling into another season where who knows what we're gonna see. If I've got any predictions, I'm gonna say vehicles and cars to actually make their way properly into Fortnite. Loads more collaborations with other big films, maybe even DJs, other YouTubers and streamers even. Who knows? Whatever Fortnite do next, we know it'll probably be huge. From 2011 to now, Fortnite has seen crazy growth. Let me know what you think Fortnite are going to do next, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Goodbye.